Okay, Pisces. The overall energy of your reading is the Two of Swords. Hmm. This is like not wanting to see it, not wanting to deal with it for fear of getting hurt. Your heart is crossed. Your guard is up. The blindfold's on. But it's like you, you know there's something going on here and you just don't want to deal with it because you're afraid. You're afraid that your heart will be broken. That surrounds the whole reading. Up here in your highest energy is the fool. This is like... You've been having a good time. Maybe, maybe it's it's one of those feelings like um, it's it's too good to be true. It's all going to fall apart at any minute, you know. Um, this is dancing along with your head in the clouds, enjoying every moment. Um, it's a really carefree card. Lots of joy, looking up, but not and not forward. And many times the fool will find themselves at the edge of a cliff. Uh, because they're not looking forward. They're just looking up and enjoying the moment. And then all of a sudden they find themselves in a place where they do reach the edge of a cliff. Um, but let's find out. That might be just what you're afraid of here. You know, that's what how I feel. So, next to the fool is the Six of Cups. There's a soulmate involved. You might have known this soulmate since childhood, uh, teenage years, even before, any time before. But you have known them in, in other lifetimes. Uh, that is the connection when you look into their eyes. So they are a soulmate. Uh, this cup that's being offered is a sincere cup. It's the only cup that's allowed to have something in it and still be sincere. It has a flower. It's very sweet. So it, it's right over the two of swords. So you've been blocking, wanting to deal with s these feelings that you're having. I, I think that you're afraid. I feel like you're you're very uh, hesitant. You're like, you don't want to rock the boat. You're, you're afraid it's just going to all fall apart. It's too good to be true. I, that's how I feel. I feel like there's a judge. I mean, I don't feel like it. I see that there's a judgment card here in your highest energy. This is a spiritual lesson. Um, the guardian angels and spirit guides are teaching you some sort of spiritual lesson. It might be, you know, how to look forward, not up in a relationship. Um, so, you know, I, it feels to me like you need to um, focus on how to be, feel more secure in, in a loving relationship because I really think that is a loving relationship. But you are in the middle of a spiritual lesson and it has to do with your soulmate. Lucky them. <laughs> they get to be a part of it. So <clears throat> right under the full card is the will of fortune. This is the universe. The universe has got your back. The universe is spinning, and it's pulling, and it's pushing, and it's nudging, and it's whispering in your ear to move forward towards your better, towards your fortune, okay? So this is a really nice wheel to be have, having spinning in your energy under the Fool card next to the Two of Swords. It feels to me like the universe is trying to get you past this... Um, this energy that you find yourself in. Uh, on the other side of this two of swords is the tower moment. See, I, I feel like you're afraid it's all going to blow up. I think your, your self-confidence, I think maybe you've been through relationships before. You're worried that it's just all going to fall to pieces. Um, your judgment might be have something to do with trusting uh, your soulmate here, trusting that this energy that you're feeling is probably maybe not the fool's energy, that perhaps it is real. Perhaps it will not end up like the fool ends up. But you're, you're certainly feels like that you're afraid that it will. Under the Wheel of Fortune is the Eight of Cups. This is moving forward. This is leaving, I think it's leaving all those fears behind is what it's doing. These fears about love. So the Wheel of Fortune is trying to move you f past that, uh, that feeling that everything's going to fall apart. And actually, it will. The, they will succeed. The universe always succeeds. That judgment will come eventually. 
if you don't learn it this time, it'll always, you know, it'll repeat itself until uh, whatever your lesson is, is learned. Next to the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Swords. Man, you're up in your head. Um, you're really, it's these thoughts of truth and clarity. I mean, they're, they're just zooming through your mind. Um, anytime you have time alone, uh, time, quiet times, you really start thinking about this relationship. You're like, oh my gosh, you know, I have all this love. I feel all this, this beautiful connection with this person. And um, I'm, I think you're afraid. I think it's past experiences. And I think that you're afraid that it's all going to fall apart. But when is it going to happen? It's like you're sitting on the edge of your seat waiting for it all to blow up. But, you know, I don't want to disappoint you or anything. I have the world card right next to that. <laughs> and this is under the tower energy that, that it's like you're... Uh, it's anxiety, man. Um, it, you're entering a new life cycle anyway. The, the will always wins, okay? So you are entering a new life cycle. And it's under the Tower card and next to this Nine of Swords. So things are looking better, much better, getting out of this energy. So Pisces, let's look at the rest of your reading. I have the Magician up on, on your highest energy line. The, the symbol of knowing and intuition. So listen to yourself. Follow your intuition. Okay. Um, you have all the tools it takes to really make a relationship work. So, you know, if, if relationships have fallen apart before, it hasn't been because of you. You have the cup, the giant cup of love. You have the pentacle of security and stability. You have the wand of new beginnings and passion. You have the sword of truth and clarity. So it hasn't been your fault, okay, that if other relationships have fallen apart, you have all the tools to head right towards the Four of Wands. This soulmate is a special soulmate, very special. 11-11, eleven, eleven. see that in the Wands? Uh, this is the union between two people. This is actually a card of marriage. Uh, it can be marriage, and nowadays, you know, it can be moving in together, who knows. But, but, but it is a union, a happy and joyful union of two people, these two people. So you have all the tools, okay? This is, I think this is going to happen, I do. It's right next to the High Priestess, which is on the other side of the Four of Wands. This is the card in the tarot book, in the tarot book, in the tarot cards for, uh, intuition and knowing so if you just pull back that pomegranate curtain take a lot of relief if you can just listen to your intuition not your fears okay that those are two different things listen to what your heart and your head are telling you about this relationship you already have a lot of the answers you're afraid to see them you're afraid to deal with them with your fears um, but if you put your fears aside and just pay attention to your feelings and your logic, your own logic, and listen to yourself, you can answer a lot of those questions that you have on your own without anybody's help. Your intuitions are running very high. Under the Magician, the Five of Pentacles. This is next to that Tower card. See, you're, you're afraid, you're afraid that you're manifesting loneliness. You're afraid that you're manifesting that you will be left out in the cold and uh, you may even be ghosted. They might run off, you know, but it, this five of pentacles is sitting right next to the queen of cups, which is under that four of wands. So you're getting your answers. You're, you're really thinking about the love. So you're concentrating on it. This is water energy, Pisces. This is your energy, Scorpio, Cancer. But this is you trying to peek in those windows on the lid of that cup there, male or female. And in that cup are answers. In that cup, if you just pay attention, if you can just peek in there, you have a lot of answers in your palm, in the palm of your hand. You have the answers within you already about this relationship. On the other side, the Queen of Cups is the Five of Cups. This is, this is why you need to follow your intuition. The Five of Cups is 
you know, this is looking at the downside of love. What happens? The worst that can happen. Okay, looking at the spilled cups. Disappointment. You know, depression. You know how it feels, okay? But you have two full cups behind you. And I think you're going to turn around and see those two full cups in this relationship. I really do. I think you know, if you just pay attention to it, stop freaking out. Don't be so afraid. You're entering this new life cycle. And I think it's with them, whether you like it or not. But you do need to get past these fears. Next to the world card. This is what's happening. When you enter this new life cycle, um, and it's under the five of pentacles, um, you're going to find out that you're a very confident, self-assured, uh, stable, grounded person on your own. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But you have all these pentacles already. And so when you enter this new life cycle, this is your fears have to be put to rest. And, you, and I think they are going to help you realize, you know, what a wonderful person you are. How, how many talents do you have? You, you carry yourself, male or female, um, very confidently in, through life. So next to the Nine of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles. Remember we had the Four of Wands up here? You know, Queen of Cups trying to figure out the love. You know, is it, is it all going to blow apart? Is it real? Ten of Pentacles is all about the security and the stability. Ten of Cups is about union again between two people. There's extended family. There's dogs and a child. It's about marriage again, a commitment. This relation can go the distance. If you keep looking at the spilled cups, you're going to block all that from happening. You've got to be able to turn around and see the hope in this relationship here with the seven of wands. Don't stop letting all these thoughts come in. These are thoughts of fears. You need to block them. But I do think that you're learning how to do that because I, I think you are moving forward here. I'm taking out one more card. It's the King of Cups. Wow. So, let me tell you about the King of Cups. This is water energy. You've got the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups. So that'd be Pisces. Scorpio or Cancer might be involved in this reading someplace. In somebody's chart. King of Cups has a giant cup of love. I think this is what you're going to find out. I think they're a soulmate. Well, I know they are because we already have soulmate card up here. This is like one of the best. This is a wonderful soulmate card. They're all wonderful. Um, your relationship here uh, looks like it is based on love. And I think what you're feeling maybe is um, I think this other person has a giant huge cup of love for you. But they may not be making it clear to you, okay? Because they don't hand out that cup of love easily. But I think they will be handing out that cup of love. I definitely do. And I think your spiritual lesson here is, is about, um, you know, resolving your fears and um, being able to trust again that there is such a thing as true love out there. So Pisces. This is your reading. You're moving forward into a beautiful new life cycle. And I think it's with your soulmate. Yes. Thank you for watching. 